Hey, hello you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a Christmas tree tour because I've got a lot of cool ornaments on my beautiful Christmas tree. As you can see, um, this tree was donated to us, my family, well me and Stuart and my pets, by a family friend. And then I've purchased a lot of ornaments. Stuart isn't into Christmas as much as me. So this year and forever now, I guess, we're going to be doing a Christmas tree decorated with Disney ornaments, so a Disney tree. Um, a lot of these ornaments too are very special to me and some of them aren't Disney related but they are from my parents and they've been passed down to us so one day down the road when, when or if we have children we will end up passing them down to them as well. So let's get started. Um, my tree is a little depressing this year. I literally, we literally just moved into this house on the 30th of November. So we kind of jumped into this without a tree or really with any idea of what we were doing and didn't have a lot of decorations, but a lot of them are very special and were lot gifts from friends and family and so on. So we're gonna start at the top so this beautiful guy isn't really a tree topper, but we're using it as a tree topper this year. And it was an ornament my mother gave me that she bought at a craft sale. So why not, right? <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Jack Skellington, this little guy, he's very special. My mom actually gave me this for my birthday this year as a little gift to go with my beautiful um, rustic stuff for my walls. Bella, you're okay. Excuse my dog, she's kind of getting used to the house still. We just brought her home yesterday. So I'm gonna go this way and then that way because all my ornaments are basically on the outside. I didn't put anything on the back because I no one sees it. And I'm out of breath, I've been chasing my dog. <laughs> so this one is actually super cute. It's Dodger and Oliver from Oliver and Company. Probably one of my favorite Disney movies. I love Disney dogs and cats to death because I've owned cats and dogs my whole life. And I actually purchased this from a Facebook page to, it's a personal shopper that picked it up and I absolutely love it. It is so freaking cute and perfect for our tree. So up next is this beautiful ornament and it's the family holiday celebration from 2015 and it's the Aristocats. And I actually purchased this quite a long time ago and I just, I took it out of the package just for the tree. Up next is a little butterfly. My, this was from my mother. This little harp I've had since I was a baby. So when my parents passed down, I was beyond excited to finally have it on my tree. So there is nothing down here except for a bunch of poinsettias, which were from my mom. This little guy I actually made so for my parents' tree, so I finally got it. This is probably one of my favorite ornaments. I just bought this. Um, this is from the Disneyland parks. Uh, it's the little Cinderella castle and it lights up. <laughs> this ornament I actually got from a friend a long, long time ago and it was on my parents' tree and they passed it down. This is probably one of my favorite ornaments. I actually got this from a mystery bag and it's, I love Eeyore. Eeyore is probably one of my favorites and I wish I got more of those mystery bags because I would have loved to get more characters. This one's pretty cool. It's Ariel and Flounder. I bought this at the Disneyland Parks. And it sings. So one of my favorite movies is Up and I purchased this at the Disney store. I had to, I seen it, needed it. Love it. Another butterfly. <laughs> a little Marie. I got this from a friend. Um, Marie's one of my favorite Disney kitties. So she passed it off to me. This is probably one of my most prized possession ornaments. Um, I just We just purchased this home this year and one of my friends from work purchased this beautiful key and it says new home 2018 to represent our first year in our home as well as our very first Christmas together in our new home. This beautiful 2010 family holiday ornament with Lady and Tramp. I actually had this since I was a kid. 
I don't remember where I got it, but I'm absolutely beyond happy to finally take it out of the package to use. It just, it suits our tree perfect. I, now Eeyore, I got this from a cousin a while back. It never really was opened and used on Christmas trees. My parents were kind of like, oh, it's juvenile. So I finally got to put it up on my tree and I was beyond excited for it. Now Simba, and the cool thing is he's actually flocked, so he's fuzzy. I actually traded some pins for this and I was super excited to finally get him for our tree. He looks so perfect. And here's another ornament my parents gave me that we've had since I was a child. And then this is another one of those ornaments from one of those mystery bags. Still wish I bought more. And then there's another ornament I made. And then my brother made this one, so I put it on our tree. And then another old ornament that my parents passed down. This is Stuart's Christmas ornament. He actually, we actually bought it at Disney California Adventure this year. We thought it'd be perfect for our little tree. And then we also, this is the last ornament on my tree. I'm kind of trying to cut this video short. My dog is needing attention. And it's a little Alice in a drinking bottle that says, drink me. It's beyond cute and perfect. I actually traded some pins for this one. And then, these little guys under my tree, my parents gave me, they used to be theirs and they passed them down. And then my beautiful tree skirt, my friend made me from work. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. It's a little weird, I know, but I been meaning to post a little tour video of our Christmas tree this year because our ornaments are amazing. See you guys.